I think that you could have you could have a university that says we believe in free speech, but it always has to be done in a way that is inoffensive to people. I think a lot of private universities do that. Um, and um, I don't think there's anything morally wrong with that. Um, I think the position of FIRE, the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education, uh, their position is public universities, First Amendment. You violate that, we sue you. Private universities, you don't have to do that. And if you're upfront about it, we're not going to touch you. Uh, because you don't make any claim to be pro-free speech. But to the extent that you claim that you support those ideas, to the extent that you announce on your website and in your promotional materials that we sign on to the liberal idea of a university and robust debate and so on, you are trading on the value of open expression. And in that case, if you violate that by shutting down a group that wants to invite somebody who speaks against affirmative action or against Islam or whatever. If, so if, if, you, if, if you shut these people down and thereby you violate the commitments that you yourself made, um, we're not going to sue you, but it's okay for us to shame you. Uh, and so it is appropriate to shame private universities insofar as they have committed themselves to uh, that ideal ahead of time, but with the understanding that um, you know, FIRE does not say anything bad about BYU uh, because BYU has just not made any claims that it is in that universe. On the other hand, Emory does make claims to be in that universe, and so it is appropriate. Um, Do you have any, uh, yes, do you have any uh, views on that? <laughs> Thank you for those excellent and thought-provoking comments.